Hi, Hall. Welcome on my channel. Uh, today, um, I will go through the tutorial uh, number three and to show you a different thing that uh, we can do, uh, you know, with FreeCAD. So, uh, the first thing first I want to show you, uh, I, I want to show you that uh, when you have a model, it's uh, very easy to make uh, some different kind of things. So, uh, I, I will save uh, this model uh, because we'll change, change it. Uh, I, I will save this model and uh <coughs> as a tutorial number f three. So uh, you see file, save as, and you say tutorial three. Okay. So the, the first thing uh, I, I want to show you um, is that when you make some machining operation, uh, you can make some. Uh, contouring or some sh some chamfering operation. So let's start first with the chamfering operation. Uh, thing, the, the first thing we are going to change the whole dimension here. So I go back to the sketch and uh, let's say that uh, this whole dimension is not two millimeters but uh, uh, the radius is only one millimeter. So it will let some space for us and from the chamfering operation. So I, I, I change the dimension, say close. So as you can see now, the whole dimension are the good one. So we are going to uh, to change the workbench and we're going to the part workbench. And uh, you can also use also the part design workbench. And um, whatever you use, you can see here you have different type of uh, modification that uh, you, you can put to the to the part. So the first thing first, we are going to select, you know, one hole, and we are going to try the chamfering operation. So I select, <coughs> you know, the circular of the hole. Then I go to chamfering, and uh, as you can see here, it already put the dimension of the chamfering, but I can also add other, uh, you know, dimension. So if I click here, add a new reference, uh, I can click here, here, add a new reference, here, add a new reference, here. So it's very powerful. And you can so also change the dimension here of the transferring. So uh, for example, 0.5 or 0.75 and uh, you have a real-time change uh, of the dimension. So it, it's uh, something that's very useful. <coughs> and you, you see that uh, the chamfering uh, works pretty nice. So it's a very useful function and that you, you, you can use uh, with FreeCAD. There is a, a other uh, very useful uh, you know, function. Uh, let's say, for example, that you want to round uh, all four corners uh, of these parts for any reason, you know, the uh, design purpose, uh, whatever. Uh, it, it's also very easy to, to do it. So the first thing first, you select, you know, one edge and you go here and uh, it's a round operation. And uh, as the previous one, you have a dialog box here. Well, you can discuss uh, uh, exchange information uh, uh, on the model. You can add a new reference. So you click add new reference and I take a new edge. Uh, I can flip the part here. Add two new edges of the of this one, and then the result is here. And uh, as you can see, there is some round corner. You can change the dimension easily. Let's say two millimeters, for example. And now we have a, <coughs> a round on part. So. In very simple, simple steps, uh, we were able to to add, you know, some chamfering operation and rounding operation uh, on, on a very simple part, and uh, on all the edge you, you can work like that. So let's say, for example, like in the first uh, in the first step, um, we had to machine uh, this part, and then it w we want you know to put a small chamfer here to avoid, uh, you know, any birds, uh, thing like that. That you can do also. You, s you start by selecting, you know, one edge. Then you click, uh, you, you, <coughs> uh, you use control, and you, you select uh, all the other edge that you want to, uh, to chamfer. 
and you can see the, the color. So we make all the, the selection for the chamfer operation. So I go back to, to chamfering, and as you can see, yeah, the, the system of Freecad already uh, have in mind uh, of kind of uh, edge uh, he has to um, uh, to jump transfer and uh, let's say small dimension or 25 okay and as you can see it's very very easy you know to, to make a, a, a transfer operation on, uh, on such parts so for this kind of thing uh, so the the best the, the best thing is to start with a very simple um, you know, with a very simple uh, model, and then you go through uh, with a chamfering and a rounding operation. Uh, I will show you another feature. Uh, so let let me save you know, this this tutorial. Um, I will show you another feature that is very uh, very useful when you work uh, you know on such model. If you select a surface, so let's say for example we we want to drill a hole here and to have a communication between the outside and uh, this pocket here. So you select you know, this face and uh, then you, you click on create a sketch. So um, by doing that you are working you know, on this face of the path. So um, the first, first thing that you, you can do is to tell the machine that uh, you want to use, um, you know, an edge from uh, the previous parts. So this icon helps you to select, you know, an edge from the, the previous parts. So uh, it's a very good habit to to use uh, this kind of tool because um, if you change uh, the base model, uh, all the sketch link to the base model will change also. So it's a, a good way to, um, let's say, to to use uh, this uh, this link to the base model. Um, so we want to create a hole. So um, let's say the correct face will draw a small hole. Um, we will define a position, and y you can do it, you know, with uh, uh, different uh, dimension things. But what you can do also, and that could be a useful tip. Uh, you can create, you know, um, uh, you can create, you know, some. I'm working, uh, I'm searching for uh, some new tool. Uh, you know, watch on here. That's a uh, building tool. No. Um, So let's let let's say that uh, we put a line from this one to this one. We will put a new edge of the part. We'll put a second line from this one to this one. I say that those two lines. Um, Something is missing here. Oh, it's okay. So let's say that uh, I send that. So, construction line. I do another one, another construction one. I will put some constraints. Say that I want some vertical line, okay. And uh, what is very interesting, if you select the two line, the blue line here, and you say I want that that's the two line are equal. Sorry, I have too much selection. Two line are equal, then it places uh, the thing in the middle. So it, it could be interesting for you. To when you want something in the middle uh, without making any dimension, uh, you, you 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 put two construction line and then yeah, 
you just have to say that uh, you want that uh, those two constrictor lines have the same uh, the same range. Uh, in this case, we we do not want that. <coughs> we just want to have a position somewhere here. So we select you know the circle, the center, and um, we say that we know is this with uh, the thing that uh, we want to fix to dimension so let's say minus 1.5 and here we have 3 millimeters or maybe 3.5 now the radius is missing so let's say the radius let's say a small hole 1.5 millimeters so now we have the green color everything uh, now is uh, is, is okay so as you can see here uh, you, you have a small circle and um, what we want to do we want to drill um, inside the parts and what i want to show you uh, there is you know uh, some helpful tool when you make such operation so I, I, you can give a dimension and check that the dimension is big enough you know to to go through the this section and uh, and go to the hole but um, if you say that uh, you go all the way through the system um, d all uh, calculates to go from uh, this you know this surface to, to this one and uh, you can select also one face to another face so it's very helpful so it's a good way, you know, to make uh, some uh, holes like that, and it's very helpful uh, regarding that. So uh, it was something that I, I want uh, I want to show you. Um, the other thing that I, I want to show you is uh, um, there is some some tool that help you uh, when you want to, to make some kind of design. Let's say that uh, I, I forgot the dimension, you know, of these parts, and there is a, a very helpful tool. Uh, it's a kind of uh, of squaring. It's a, a kind of square. So if you click on this tool, uh, you just have to select, you know, uh, let's say one point, another point, and it gives you the dimension uh, 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 of this one. And it's only information. It does mean that it does not uh, create any kind of special object here. It just gives you the dimension of, of what you check. So sometimes, if, if you if you want to have the thickness, you can see here the, the thickness is a uh, 4.75. So uh, it's very helpful. For example, if you, if you want also to have a length here, uh, it, it's very useful. So you have to start with a point second point and you see that uh, the, the length is uh, of this side is uh, six millimeters uh, you can do the same thing with the length you know with the of, of those parts and we see that uh, it's a uh, 35 millimeters and it's a pre pretty helpful tool um, it's also able to make uh, different kind of measurements so you, you you can change the option uh, that you have here so when you make your 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 check <coughs> and the dimension you you want to see you can also uh erase dimension uh you can change also to see uh, if, if you are on the circle so a lot of things uh, are very useful so in this case um what i want to show you i choose to uh two points that was not on the same plane so the system is able to give you to give you uh, you know a lot of information so the direct dimension from uh, this point to this point the uh, the z, let's say the z uh, the z travel and also um, the y or the x travel so it gives you the complete dimension uh, on a on a plane and on a uh, the orientation of the, the the hole in this case so it's a pretty useful tool so here it is and um, there is another tool that you can you can use you know, you know to check uh, a lot of things and uh, it could be also very helpful when you you have to make some calculation or if you want to uh, to know the weight of something uh, so you have to 
to go to the Arch workbench. And uh, in the Arch wor workbench, um, wh wh what you see is a, you know, s a lot of tools uh, related to, um, to to the Arch to the Arch workbench. And here, you have uh, this small icon that helps you to make very interesting things. So, for example, if you select a surface, uh, you will have um, the surface value. So it's very helpful especially uh, when you, you want to make some checking operation, thing like that. Let's say, that for example, you want to know the length of uh, this arc. So you click on the, on the arc and uh, you know that the length is uh, 15.71. Uh, so it's something very useful. For example, if, if I want to know the surface of uh, this complex you know, uh, surface, I click on it and it, it told you that the surface is uh, 9 to 17 millimeters. So it's very, very helpful. Uh, you can check all kind of things, uh, length, surface. And um, then you can, you know, create a report uh, on a, a CSV file and you use it, you know, in an Excel file or calculation. So it's something that could be very, very useful when you make the, the such thing or design operation and you also can you can put a name you know about uh, about uh, you know dimensions so for example I put a name on this uh, conical surface and uh, then when you make uh, the export file you, you have all the information uh, related uh, to, to the thing so it's a very, uh, very simple but very useful tool, and uh, it can help you, you know, dur during uh, during the the checking about um, the designing, uh, make a very uh, interesting thing. Uh, another thing that uh, I want to show you. So let's go back to the part design and uh, regarding the surface and part. So. When you start designing a path, <coughs> you have the standard color uh, of uh, what is defined in the preference menu. Um, but you can you can change you know the the path. So you select it. You can go in uh, inside a inside a. inside data and uh, you know inside data you have a let me change it a bit you have a shape color here you can click on the on this thing and you can change the color of uh, what a color whatever the color you want so you click you click on it say okay and now you, you can see that the color of the file has changed so it's a very interesting interesting thing that's uh, can be used when you have a lot of parts, for example, you can change one kind of color. It's very, very helpful, uh, very simple. And um, there is another thing that uh, you can also change, is the transparency of the parts. So if I put 50, for example, it does mean now that uh, I can I can see 50% inside the part. So uh, it's a very nice feature that uh, you can use to uh, to see what's uh, inside the parts, so uh, you can see uh, pretty nice the small hole we put on the face and we and uh, the, the hole that uh, go all through the parts. So uh, it, it's it's also a very sometimes very used, uh, useful way to uh, to be sure that uh, when you make some design everything uh, is in line or if you want to check some very small, for example, <coughs> very small. Uh, chamfer uh, with this kind you can see that uh, the chamfer is in a good position and you can check the range and, and so on so here it is uh, about the basic uh, function so uh, as you can see it's uh, very very simple and uh, I will hope uh, it will help you so stay tuned thanks for watching